Hey everybody, it's day 74 on the CGT. It's uh, Sunday, the 10th of July. Just verifying that. Um, I got rained on again today. So I did a little bit of a double check with my notes. And uh, I think it is 18 of 22 days. Um, 18 of the last 22 days that I've been rained on. Um, there were the two days after the first day out of Crete, I didn't get rained on. I wasn't rained on yesterday, and I think it was one day in the saw wash I didn't get rained on. Um, <clears throat> so, I I am ready for hopefully a little bit dry weather in Wyoming. Um, I think Wyoming gets monsoons as well, so we'll see what happens. Um, I am filthy. Uh, we've been hiking through some burn areas over the last few days um, in Rocky Mountain National Park as well as the last two days um, <clears throat> in the U.S. forest. Or, uh, I think it's forest and also the wilderness. So um, like the back of my legs are almost black just because of the, the <coughs> dirt we're walking in is ash. Um, we had a lot of up today and it was um, it was a pretty severe up. So what I mean by that is the grade was pretty steep. <coughs> you, <coughs> man alive. You can tell that by the fact that when you're walking uphill, um, if you can keep your heel on the ground, um, that's ideal uh, because that means you can use your entire leg to help push up. Um, if you are up on your toes, meaning your heel is off the ground, that's a pretty steep grade and traditionally... Um, when you're building trails, you try to avoid that um, just because the hiker is not allowed to or not able to um, use their entire um, entire calf and, and uh, hamstring and quad muscle to kind of push up. So today we had quite a bit of up where like my heel wasn't hitting the ground. So um, it was... I think the first climb was between 2,500 to 3,000. I want to say it was closer to 2,500. I could be wrong on that. Um, so we got up to 12.5, and I think that's actually the last time before we get out of Colorado. Um, the second climb was an 11.5 climb, and then the third climb was up to 11.3, uh, I think. Oh, I believe the first climb actually was 12.3 because it's Lookout Mountain. Um, you hear a lot of wind going on. Um, I am so finished with mosquitoes that uh, <clears throat> I'm testing my theory from several videos again uh, ago, excuse me, that I asked, would you rather sleep with mosquitoes in your campsite or would you rather have a windy campsite? I am up on a ridge and it's after the third climb and I saw a lot of flat area and I decided I'm gonna nestle in next to some trees. I'm gonna have a windy campsite and I don't have to worry about mosquitoes. So um, maybe in tomorrow's video, I can let you know uh, how I'm feeling about that. But I think I'm still gonna favor the windy campsites over mosquitoes. Um, it's a bit late, <coughs> it's 8.30. I um, got in about 23 miles today and uh, um, I started looking at the possibility of getting into Steamboat Springs tomorrow um, rather than the day after. Um, it'd be about a 25 or 26 mile walk to tomorrow. Um, however, we start going downhill and getting into some flats. So it might go a little bit quicker than a, a usual 25 mile day. So I'll see um, <clears throat> around like one or two o'clock in the afternoon where I am and make a decision whether to push for, for Steamboat Springs tomorrow or not. Um, so I wanted to address something that uh, quite a few of you have texted me and asked where you can send care packages. Um, <clears throat> from the bottom of my heart, thank you for thinking of me and considering sending me a care package. Um, I could... I don't, it, it's, I don't think it's going to work. Um, it's not for some BS like, oh, well, you know, sending it to me is difficult or 
you know, you have to blah, blah, blah. No, it's for the simple fact of the contents of what's in the box. Um, people have offered to send me like cookies or send me um, like my favorite chocolate bars or um, send me like other sweets and that kind of stuff. And that's extremely thoughtful. Um, when I'm hiking the trail, I need a lot of carbs and those carbs come in the form of um, <coughs> basically sugar. It's sugar. Um, or products that have other ingredients, but sugar is a high content part of the ingredients. And the reason why is because when I'm hiking the trail 20 plus miles a day, uh, that sugar can get turned into... Um, energy pretty quickly and I just realized my music's on sorry the, none of the music that you heard previous um, are sponsors um, so I apologize for that music that was unintentional um, my, my bad um, so the sugar gets turned into energy and that's what I need when I'm hiking and that's why sugar on the trail is great when I get into town I change my diet. What I'm craving is fat and protein because I need to put calories on and fat and protein will stick to your body a little bit better. So when I'm in town, I'll eat like guacamole with chips because guacamole is a healthy fat. Um, I'll eat like custard based uh, ice cream because it uses, traditionally uses whole milk and eggs. So there's the fat and some protein. Um, I'll eat yogurt because, again, of the um, the protein and the fat. Um, I'll eat uh, breakfast burritos <coughs> because, <coughs> because the soft shell has fat in it and the contents has, you know, vegetables and proteins and, and egg and all that kind of stuff. And egg has protein, of course. Um, same thing with... Um, like I'll get Chipotle because the the soft shell has a lot of fat in it and the contents inside um, are full of fat and, and protein. So does the ice cream have sugar and the yogurt have sugar? Yes, but most of my diet when I get into town is fats and, and protein. And it's not, not very easy to ship me a box of ice cream, yogurt, uh, guacamole, and... Um, barbecue chicken so again from the bottom of my heart i honestly appreciate the folks who've reached out and asked how can i send you a care package but the care packages um the food you'd be putting in there that i need uh, I, they would spoil i think it'd be very difficult to send them to me so what i would propose is when i get finished with the hike in the fall um, I can uh, visit with you folks and <laughs> you can buy me a caramel apple or some apple cider or something um, <coughs> very fall related. Um, and I will uh, thank you very much for those, uh, those generous purchases. But um, like I said, care packages are like care packages, especially with food, are a little bit difficult. Um, it does not mean that I absolutely love the fact that you folks are asking. So uh, I appreciate very much that you folks want to help me out. Um, let's see. Shout outs. I don't think I have a shout out today. Um, it was a pretty straightforward hiking day. Um, the rain came in, which is which is uh, <laughs> pretty standard for me. Um, I got some miles in. Uh, I did some elevation, which is standard for Colorado. <laughs> And, uh, and I got into camp late because I was trying to get um, a little few extra miles in so I can make a decision about steamboat. So um, I'm going to let you folks go. I need to finish filtering a couple of liters of water and I haven't eaten yet and it's 840 and the sun's going down. So it's going to be a late night again like last night. Um, and, uh, you know, I got up early again this morning. It I scooted it back so it wasn't 445, it was 515. Um, but it was still a pretty long day. So um, I hope everyone's well. Thanks again for watching the videos, and I'll talk to you folks tomorrow.